This video will take a look at error intolerance involved in pharmacy practice. Now when measuring out liquids or weighing solids, measurements won't always be 100% accurate. And when weighing out multiple tablets or you know, weighing out several volumes for the same thing, the volumes or the weights won't always be um, identical you know, in all the tablets or in all volumes. And so we have built in an acceptable amount of error into our measurements based on our setting. So let's take a look at some of those. In the pharmaceutical industry, there is a maximum error of 1% allowed. And compounds in the pharmacy setting, in the community setting, um, has a maximum error of 5%. Okay, so let's say that we're in a community setting and we need to make a compound of a certain prescription. And let's say we're going to make capsules and we're going to fill say 10 capsules with you know a target of 250 milligrams of power and it can be of any drug that we're compounding. What is an acceptable range of weights that can be put into our capsules and the capsules will still be acceptable for dispensing to patients. So in other words, we're looking for a certain range um, with a lower limit and an upper limit. And if our capsule has a powder weight that falls in between these limits, then it's acceptable. Now compounding has a 5% error. So to figure out our upper and lower limits, we first need to find 5% of our target 250 milligrams. So 250 times 5% is equal to 12 and a half milligrams. So our lower limit that's acceptable is 250 milligrams minus 12 and a half. So 250 milligrams minus 12.5 milligrams is equal to 237 and a half milligrams. The upper limit is equal to 250 milligrams plus 12 and a half milligrams. And this is equal to 262 and a half milligrams. Let's take this same example, but let's say that a major pharmaceutical company is making these capsules. So remember a pharmaceutical company can have an error of plus or minus one percent. So to figure out what the maximum error is in milligrams, we need to take 250 and multiply it by one percent. So 250 times one percent gives us 2.5 milligrams. And then we just add and subtract this to 250. So 250 milligrams minus 2.5 milligrams is 247.5 milligrams. And our upper limit is 250 milligrams plus 2.5 milligrams, which is equal to 252.5. 
so our lower limit's 247.5 and our upper limit's 252.5 milligrams. So if a pharmaceutical company is making these capsules, if a powder weight is in between the upper and lower limit, then the capsule is acceptable for selling in this case and for manufacturing. Okay. Sometimes when you're compounding, you're not given um, the error as a percent. Instead, you're given the error as an amount. So let's say that we're compounding a uh, prescription, and let's say that, you know, say we're making capsules again, and we're going to make capsules with a target weight of 500 milligrams. And let's say that um, the amount of error that we'll tolerate is plus or minus, say, 5 milligrams. What is this as a percent error? Or what is the error as a percent? Well, to figure this out, we need to figure out what percent 5 milligrams is of 500. So you just do a division problem. You take 5 milligrams, you divide it by 500, and you get 0 0.01. Milligrams cancel out. We multiply by 100% and we get 1%. So there's a 1% error if our acceptable amount is 5 milligrams. Well, what is the acceptable range in this case? Well, the acceptable range would be 500 milligrams plus or minus 5 milligrams. So our acceptable range is 495 milligrams to 505 milligrams. So if the powder weight in the capsule is between 495 and 505, um, then the capsule is acceptable. You may have a situation in which you know the upper and lower limits, you need to find the target weight and maybe find the percent error. So let's say that we're making capsules and we want to figure out what the target weight is. And let's say that we have a range of you know 100 milligrams uh, to 120 milligrams. But to figure out the target weight, the target weight is equal to the mean average um, of the range. So The mean between 100 and 120, you can just do in your head, is 110 milligrams, but to do it out, it would be 100 milligrams plus 120, and divide by 2, and this equals um, 220 milligrams, divide by 2, or 110 milligrams. So this is the target weight right here. So our target weight is 110 milligrams. Now if we want to find what the percent uh, is, what the percent error is, we got to take the difference between the target weight and one of the ranges. So if we do the upper limit, the difference between the upper limit and our target weight is 10 milligrams. And 
then we simply take our 10 milligrams and we divide it by 110 milligrams. And you get roughly 9% when you do this division. Roughly 9%. So hopefully this helps you with calculations of acceptable tolerance in your measurement of weight and also helps you find percent error. As another note, you can also apply this to volumes, not just to weight. So if you're measuring out something in milliliters, you can apply the same principles finding a target uh, volume, um, finding a range of volume, and finding a percent error involved with um, trying to find acceptable volumes that you can dispense to your patients.